Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Tzav. Tzav. What are we willing to sacrifice? <coughs> A poetic interpretation on this week's Parsha. I have no other country even if my land is a flame, just a word in Hebrew pierces my veins and my soul with a painful body and with a hungry heart, here is my home. I will not stay silent because my country changed her face. And I will not give up reminding her and sing in her ears until she will open her eyes. Ainli Eretz Acheret from the great poet Ehud Manor. The United States of America founded free will, liberty, justice, freedom for all, although that last part seems somewhat debatable in recent times. Sav, what are we willing to sacrifice? Our beloved homeland, our Israel, the symbol of our divine inheritance, the everlasting covenant between God and our people, once filled with only desert rocks, flourishing, tended by chalutzim, agriculturalists, technological whiz kids, artistic dreamers, scientific motivators. Tzav, what are we willing to sacrifice? Living in Jerusalem, incredibly powerful, overwhelming, exhausting, and exhilarating. A year of my life without any of my family nearby, given to time on a different plane. The madness in the streets and markets just before everything closes for Shabbos. The desolate roadways on Yom Kippur. Time's agile bending and flexing are most visible in emotional depth and resilience that moves a person from the depths of 24 hours of grief immediately into celebration in a matter of seconds. Yom Hazikaron and Yom Ha'atzma'ut. This is an otherworldly and remarkable role model for the rest of the world. A worthy sacrifice, surely. America is full of vibrant colors, shapes, like an old comfortable library or bookstore. Quiet nooks, busy study tables, new wonder, tender dreams. Grit, tenacity, bravery, and faith. Luck and love, and yes, privilege too formed these foundations of color, desert, comfort, celebration, dreams. Perseverance, this is a worthy sacrifice. From above seems an idyllic dream, from below tenuous terms of government or unseemly and grotesque interpretations of freedom. Sunday, March 26, 2023, those Zionist pioneer grandparents and great-grandparents must be staring down at their kids' kids with proverbial tears of pride and joy. These people took to the streets to defend their country, to protect it, to preserve it, not against those who are not like them, but now in concert with those who are not like them a rising up with virtually no violence, no guns, no police violence, no pictures of politicians being burned or hung in effigy, presence of people standing together not for hate, but for love, in the words of Daniel Gordis. Peaceful crossing of barriers <coughs> and blocking highways did not stop even an ambulance from getting where it needed to go. A protester paved path, parted, professing an act of love, parting because someone was sick or in labor or needed help, 
It was not about hate. Monday, March 27th, 2023, Nashville, Tennessee, Sob, what are we willing to sacrifice? The slaughter of children, grown human life given by those devoted to their safety. In a letter to government, Governor Bill Lee, a citizen writes, these children were your children. However distant we might be from the epicenter of that school and the survivors whose lives will never, ever be the same, we are all broken by these images. Oh, those tiny, tiny children, they're beautiful, beautiful protectors. How could we have saved them? What could we possibly have done to save them? Leviticus, Vayikra, this book that sits at the heart of our Torah, this is God's call to us. We must become more holy. We must bring ourselves to humanity, to this moment, a deeper sense of divine emanation. Parashat Sav is a commandment, not a request or a suggestion. We must keep the fires of justice and freedom burning. We offer our choicest selections from animal to grain in this parsha, a veritable gourmet palette of olamim, offerings to rise in smoke toward God. These delectable recipes for korbanot, offerings of karov, draw us near to God. Tzav, what are we willing to sacrifice my existence on the altar for the life of my daughter, for our greatest hope and strength lies in our children's eyes, in their souls. Tzav, we must sing into their ears our commandments as though they were a divine emanation pleading. I want to live in a country that loves its children more than guns. Thoughts and prayers are useless to dead children. Why are we sacrificing our children? May a chance for hope sink into the deplorable desire to become a non-democracy anywhere in this world. A chance for Israel to sing into their ears until they open their eyes. Some have already opened. Can we sing into each other's ears until we open our eyes? 1999, Columbine was the first. 2023, Covenant School, Covenant Presbyterian Church, Nashville, just the latest. It is hard to see open eyes this week. Ainli Eretz Acheret, I have no other country Although my land is aflame with gunfire, just a vision of liberty with her torch pierces my veins and my soul. With a painful body, with a hungry heart, here is my home. I will not stay silent because my country changed her face. And I will not give up reminding her and sing in her ears until she will open her eyes. And that will be my sacrifice. Can you hear May this be God's will. Mm -hmm.